What's up guys, Game Fiend Fit of All Games having I'm back giving you another drama script to Saturday, even though it's on Sunday or New Year's Eve, but I was, you know, again, work. So I didn't get a chance to upload this yesterday or make this video yesterday. But um it's gonna I'm gonna go past a couple things on Raw. So apparently they made Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan they're the new tag team champs. They beat the bar on the Christmas edition of Raw. And that says a lot about, that says one about, a lot about two things. One, Dean Ambrose is out for at least three to four months. So that's, we all know that's permanent now. That's gone. And now they, they did make, say, nine months, but I think that story. So when he does come back, it looks like he's stronger. Oh, he 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 healed from his um his tricep injury faster, which if in depths of the injury, apparently, um long story short, somehow some way all the muscle got ripped right off the bone, which is a horrible horrible experience. So he had to go through surgery. Surgery went well, and then now it's saying he's taking anywhere three to four months to to fully heal. And WWE saying he'll be back in nine months, but you know that's probably just the the nine month part is probably the story. So when he does come back, it looks like he's he's stronger. Like he healed faster. They, they did the same thing with uh, Braun Strowman and his shoulder injury. Injury. It said six months, he was back in two. So, yeah. So number one and number two, what are they really doing with Jason Jordan? Like, what are they really doing with him? Now they just... They put him in singles competitive, he failed at that, and then they put him right back in the tag division with Seth Rollins. I mean, at this point, I would have Seth Rollins feuding for the the Universal title, but it's being held hostage by Brock Lesnar, and then I'm just gonna assume we're gonna get some triple threat match at the Royal Rumble between Brock Lesnar, Kane, and Braun Strowman. Because that's, at the end of the day, that's what everyone wants. So I figured it's just gonna it's just gonna end up being a triple threat match. So I'm assuming the bar, I don't know, but I'm assuming the bar is gonna get their rematch tomorrow. But they just made a new tag team and then Jason Jordan is the first ever since the NXT tag champions was a thing, he's the first person to get the NXT tag titles, SmackDown tag titles, and now the Raw tag team titles. Random, but yeah, now Jason Jordan is the first man to ever do that. And now this makes Seth Rollins, I think, a four time WWE tag team champion. Four or three. I think it's, I want to say four, but it's probably three tag team champion. So I don't know what they're gonna, uh, is in it a, again, is the shield still a thing? Like, since Dean is hurt. They had the shield reunion and Dean getting hurt kind of kills the shield reunion. And speaking of Roman, tomorrow, if uh, Roman would get disqualified, he uses the IC title. So yeah, another chance for um, Samoa Joe to win uh, the IC title from Roman Reigns. It's very, this is a very, very, very long feud and they have to kind of do something because they got to stretch it all the way to the Royal Rumble, which I think is in three weeks now? Yeah, it's in three weeks from now. So now they got to start the proper build to the Royal Rumble. Now that there is a road to the Royal Rumble, instead of being nine weeks away from the last pay-per-view, now we're only three weeks away. So things should be getting easier for WWE to build now that this pay-per-view is only three, three weeks away. But, and then... The Raw started off with John Cena versus um, Elias, and I I enjoyed the match, but for John Cena just to win and is gonna go away for like another four months, they could have had Elias in some way, shape, or form win or end in a end in a no contest. That John Cena coming back, supposedly. A free agent but then is on team smackdown not team raw but then shows up on raw and then doesn't match it really like is he not 
part of the brand space? Is he the only superstar that's not affected by the brand split? Because he's he was on Team SmackDown, but now he's a free agent. So when he shows up on Raw, he's a free agent. But when they really, really need him, he's on SmackDown because he was drafted to SmackDown. And that's that. But John Cena came back. In a good 20-minute match, he beats Elias. Don't get that. It's not my company, but whatever. John Cena, John Cena wins. And then moving on to SmackDown, Dolph Ziggler basically forfeited the U.S. title, so let's make a tournament. And now what's what's left on the tournament is Zack Ryder will face Muldrow Riley, and Aiden English will face Xavier Woods. In the remaining tournament matches, the winner of Road, uh, the winner of Ryder versus Riley will face Rude. And the winner of English versus Woods will face uh, Mahal. This is all for the the U.S. title. And Rusev is over. Rusev Day and Rusev is is finally over yet again because it wasn't like he was he wasn't over before, but he got over. Like Rusev Day is over. It's the top. It's the top selling shirt on WWE is Happy Rusev Day. And then the second shirt is the Shield, United the New Shield shirt. Third is the Usos. Fourth is the NWO Retro T-shirt. And the fifth one is the Phenomenal AJ Styles T-shirt. So Rusev is selling very, very high in merchandise. So I would say look for, look, look for, for some type of push in some way, shape or form. Because remember, the last superstar that got a really, really, that was unknown, but his really, really, really got a huge push due to merchandise was Zack Ryder. And he got made the U.S., he got made to be the, you know, the U.S. champion. Even though it ended with Kane basically raping him, um, he did get a solid, I think it was three or four month push before it all went downhill. And that's very funny to say that because Kane pushed him off the stage and he went downhill. Wow. But yeah. So I don't know. We'll just see tomorrow night on Raw what else WWE has has in stro has has in um store. So that's gonna wrap this up for this week's drama shoot this Saturday. Uh, remember, there'll be a drama script Saturday, every Saturday. And if you've liked what you have witnessed, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe and share. And I'm Game Fiend, Funeral Games. And until next week, guys, later and.